and this is about uh, summing or adding circuit and this is inverting summing amplifier circuit means input we are applying to the inverting terminal and what is the difference between inverting amplifier and inverting summing amplifier is in inverting amplifier we are uh, using only one input single input uh, means v in but in summing or additional circuits we are using more than two means for addition we need at least two data so v1 and v2 i am considering as a input here so this circuit is also called as a two input inverting summing amplifier or inverting additional circuit so summing and additional circuit is used to add the input voltages with the amplification so output voltage is nothing but addition of input voltages if we use two input v1 and v2 then expected output vo is minus of v1 plus v2 why it is minus we are applying v1 and v2 for the inverting terminal so minus of within the bracket we have to write it as v1 plus v2 and uh, we'll discuss about the derivations and how the output voltage will get it. And uh, in this uh, circuit diagram, if we see V1 and V2 are the two input voltages that is applied to the inverting terminal via the resistance R1 and R2. And A is the node at the inverting input and B is the node at the non-inverting input terminal. And there is a RF resistance which acts as a feedback resistance. And here, since the resistance R1 and R2 are connected in parallel, for parallel current will be different. Current, are, current is different for the parallel connection. So R1 and R2 are in parallel. So I1 is a current through the R1 resistance and I2 is a current through R2 resistance. So I1 plus I2, which is uh, nothing but I that comes out from this junction. This is a junction. So, uh, if we write KCL, if we use a Kirchhoff's current law, we can write incoming current is equal to outgoing current to this junction. To this junction. So, for this junction, I1 and I2 are the incoming current and I is the outgoing current. So, I is equal to I1 plus I2 will be the equation. And feedback resistance RF where the current I flows. So, if we consider uh, our derivation part, since we are using V1 and V2 as the input voltages and it is to the inverting terminal, uh, first we are finding what is a virtual ground concept. So in the virtual ground concept, what is VB? VB is connected to ground, means B, that node which is connected to the ground. So B, VB is equal to 0. Therefore, VA is, is also is equal to 0. Next, what is that? Next, we have to find what is the current through the input side. Since there are two resistance R1 and R2, we are using Kirchhoff's current law. So, in that, we are getting I is equal to I1 plus I2. So, what is I1? I1 is a current through the resistance R1. Since it is a resistance, we are using Ohm's law, which is I is equal to V divided by R. V, it is nothing but the potential differences across the resistance R1. The current flows from V1 to VA. Therefore, V1 minus VA divided by the resistance R1. So, V1 minus VA divided by R1 and VA is equal to 0. Therefore, V1 divided by R1. And what about the current I2? It's through the resistance R2. And the, what is the potential difference? Since the current flows from V2 to A, it is V2 minus VA divided by R2. VA is 0 here. So, V2 divided by R2. So, if we substitute here the total current in the input side, which is I is equal to V1 by R1 plus V2 by R2. Next, we have to find the current through the resistance RF. Even here, we are applying the Ohm's law. So, from the output side, I is equal to current direction is from A to output side. So, VA minus VO divided by RF. VA is 0. Therefore, minus VO divided by RF. Both the equations represent the current I. So, we are equating 1 and 2. We get minus VO divided by RF is equal to V1 by R1 plus V2 by R2. And what is VO? VO by rearranging the equation, we'll get minus RF into V1 by R1 plus V2 by R2. So, what is the expected output voltage actually here? It is VO is equal to minus of V1 plus V2. It is not like expected. Uh, it, according to the concept, output voltage is nothing but the addition of input voltages. So, how to get that uh, case? So, here we have an equation VO is equal to minus RF into V1 by R1 plus V2 by R2. So, this is our general equation of output voltage. Next, we have to consider the cases where the resistance are same. 
R1 and R2 and R means there are three resistance here. R1 is equal to R2 and there is one more resistance RF. So, if we consider the values as same for some resistance, then we get some other formula. So, out of three resistance, if we consider the input resistance as same, for say R1 is equal to R2 is equal to some value R, then VO is equal to minus RF V1 by R plus V2 by R2. Uh, means R1 and R2 substituted as R here. So, we are taking the R outside as a common. So, minus RF by R into V1 plus V2. So, VO is equal to, this is the equation, if the input resistance are same and RF is different. If we consider all the resistance are same, like R1 equal to R2 is equal to RF, even that is equal to R, then when you substitute RF is equal to R here, then R, R gets cancelled. So, what we get? The final equation we get is minus of V1 plus V2. So, we get the addition of two input voltages with inverting with the 180 degree phase shift only when all the resistance are same. R1 is equal to R2 is equal to RF. So, based on the value of resistance, the output voltage differs. But the concept is output voltage is the addition of the input voltages and RF and R represents the gain. So, next is about difference R subtractor circuit means output voltage is nothing but difference of input voltages. Here the mode configuration which is a difference mode means input will be applied to both the input terminal, inverting terminal as well as non-inverting terminal. It can be a same voltage or it can be a different voltages means a double ended it is differential or common. If the input is same then output will be zero. If inputs are different then output voltage will be the difference of input voltages. And V1 is a voltage here which is applied to the inverting terminal and V2 is a voltage applied to the non-inverting terminal. And there are feedback resistance here as well as here. And the two resistance are connected in two different terminals. So, the current is different I1 through the R1 and I2 through R2. A and B are the voltage uh, node, uh, node voltage at A and uh, B. And V was the output voltages here. Uh, since it is applied, uh, since the different voltages are applied to two different terminals, we are uh, considering two cases. First case is considering V1 as acting and V2 is equal to 0. When we consider only V1 voltage, then this circuit acts as an inverting amplifier circuit. Means V1 is the input for the inverting terminal and non-inverting terminal is grounded via the resistance R2 and RF. Both the resistance are connected to the ground. And there is a feedback resistance which connects output to the input terminal. So, we can use the formula VO is equal to minus RF by R1 into V in. In the place of V in, we have V1. And V01 is a output voltage for the case 1. So, V01 is equal to minus RF divided by R1 into V1. And if we consider the second case by considering V2 as acting and V1 is equal to 0, that time the circuit acts as a non-inverting amplifier. So, V2 is the input for non-inverting terminal and V1 is the uh, input which is grounded in the inverting terminal. But here two resistance are there which is in the non-inverting terminal R2 and RF and this acts as a voltage divider circuit. So, according to the voltage divider circuit, we can write the potential at node B as RF divided by R2 plus RF into V2. And what is VO2? VO2 according to the non-inverting voltage equation, VO2 is 1 plus RF by R into V in. So, in the place of V in, we are writing VB since we are finding what is the potential at node B. And substituting VB in this VO2, we get 1 plus RF by R1 into RF by R2 plus RF into V2. And this is the output voltage for the second case. And the final output voltage is, according to the superposition principle, we are adding it. So, VO is equal to VO1 plus VO2. So, VO is equal to V01 is the first case output which is minus RF by R1 into V1 and V02 which is the second case output 1 plus RF by R1 into RF by R2 plus RF 
into V2. So substituting and we are getting the general equation. And if we consider the resistance as same, like R1 is equal to R2. What is R1 and R2? Which is input resistance. If we consider R1 and R2 as same and RF is different, then we get V1 is equal to RF by R1 into V2 minus V1. Means in the place of R1 and R2, when you substitute same value, and simplify, we get this equation. V1 is equal to RF by R1 into V2 minus V1. If we consider all the resistance as same, like R1 equal to R2 is equal to RF, then VO we get it as V2 minus V1. Means the output voltage is the difference of input voltages, V2 minus V1. And next is integrator. Integrator is nothing but the output voltage which integrates the input voltages and here the capacitors are used as a feedback terminal and R1 is in the input side and A and B as usual it's a voltage at the node A and B. V in is the input voltage applied to the inverting terminal. Integrator and differentiator uses inverting mode. So V in is applied to the inverting terminal. R1 and CF are the elements here. And here, what is a virtual ground concept? B is connected to ground. So, VB is equal to the 0. Therefore, VA is also 0. VA equal to VB is equal to 0. And uh, current through the input side, which is I uh, through the R1, it is written as I is equal to Ohm's law V divided by R. But here, it is a potential difference, which is V in minus VA. And the current flows from in to A. Uh, so, V in minus V A divided by the resistance R1. So, V in minus V A divided by R1 is equal to V in divided by R1. Consider this as a first equation. And next current through the feedback loop. In the feedback, we have a capacitor C. So, current through the capacitor formula is I equal to C into dV divided by dt. C is a capacitor value and difference of voltages. So, differentiation of voltages. So, I is equal to C F D into Potential difference uh, V is nothing but according to the current direction, it is from A to O. So, V A minus V O divided by D T. So, is equal to V A is 0. Therefore, D of minus V 0 minus can be written outside. So, minus C F D V O divided by D T. So, this is the second equation. And next, as usual, we are to equate 1 and 2. Uh, when we equate V in by R 1 is equal to minus C F D V O divided by D T. Integrating on both the sides, we get 0 to t v in by r1 into dt is equal to minus cf integration dvo divided by dt into dt. dt and dt gets cancelled. Integration of dvo, like integration of dx is nothing but x. In the same way, integral of dvo is vo. So, we are finding what is output voltage. So, keeping this vo in the one side and taking minus cf to the other side, so, minus 1 divided by R1 CF integral 0 to T V in into DT. This is the output voltage equation for the integrator. So, output voltage is the integration of input voltage 0 to T V in into DT. And minus is represents 180 degree phase shift as we are applying input to the inverting terminal. And 1 by R1 into CF, R1 C means RC is nothing but time constant. So, here this is the time constant of the integrator. So, this is about the integrator circuit. op amp used as an integrator. Next, how the op amp used as a differentiator. So, even here we are using capacitor. But capacitor is not connected to feedback. It is connected in the input side. So, there is a, uh, only that is a difference. Capacitor comes in the input side. And uh, resistance in the feedback loop. So, same virtual ground concept VB. What is VB? VB is nothing but it is grounded. So VB is equal to 0. Therefore, VA is also 0. VA, VB both is equal to 0. And next finding current through the input side. In the input, we have a capacitor. So I equal to C into DV divided by DT. And um, DV, V is nothing but the potential difference. V in minus VA divided by DT. So VA is 0. So, C into dV in divided by dt. Output side. In a sense, in the feedback, we have a resistance. So, we are using Ohm's law, which is I is equal to V divided by R. V is nothing but VA minus VO divided by RF. So, minus VO divided by RF. Equating 1 and 2, 
we get minus V O by R F is equal to C one into D V into divided by D T. And what is V O? V O can be written as minus C one into R F D V into divided by D T. Here we are not integrating on both sides because we have V O in the true form. Means it is not in a differentiation form. We have it in V O. So V O is equal to minus C one R F D V into divided by D T is a output equation. Output voltage is nothing but difference of input voltages. Sorry, not difference. A differentiation of input voltages. And R and C is a time constant. This is a differentiator. 